If we want dynamic lighting in our VR games, then we need to talk about light probes. So what are light probes? In Unity, they're a way for us to store information about how lighting behaves in a certain area, and that can then be used to create dynamic lighting effects on our dynamic objects. In the end, this gives us a more immersive experience while also giving us dynamic lighting and doesn't break the bank with performance. Before we hop into light probes, I wanted to mention that watching my video on the the URP and also my lighting video will help you a ton in understanding what's going on in this tutorial. So if you haven't done that yet, you should probably check that out now. So let's go over what's going on in the scene. Starting off, you can see I have a back wall here. I have two different floors with two different colors. And then I have a ball hanging out right in the center. And then I also have these two little objects here, which are just spotlights that I've put to shine onto the ground there. So with the spotlight, I wanna point out this indirect multiplier. So when our light comes down and bounces off the surface, it's gonna hit other surfaces and it kind of transfer that color onto them. And so I've increased this a little bit just to make it more noticeable for this tutorial. So let's get our scene ready for baking. Starting off the baking, it's always good to make sure the objects that aren't going to move are gonna be set to static. So I'm gonna just select all the objects that I don't want to move as static right now and i'm gonna come over here click this and yes and another thing i'm going to do is for my blue spotlight over here i am actually going to set this to baked and then for my red spotlight i'm going to set this to mixed and the big difference here is mixed is going to allow us to have dynamic shadows and it's going to cost a little more in performance so if you want the most optimization you would just have your lights be baked but the drawback there is you can't have dynamic shadows but really ask yourself do you need that dynamic shadow? Answer's probably no. Next, just for this tutorial and to make things a little more dramatic, I'm gonna turn off this directional light that I have. I'm gonna go to window, I'm gonna go to rendering and lighting. And now we have our lighting window from the previous tutorial. Here again, I'm just gonna make a new settings. And yeah, our scene should be about ready, but you know what, I wanna make this a little more dramatic. You don't have to do this. This is just so we can really see what's going on. I'm gonna click my skybox and change it to none. So it's gonna make the scene a little dark there. Now, before I bake this scene, I'm gonna change this to a progressive GPU just so it renders a little quicker and hit generate lighting and see what we're working with. And look at that, you can already tell it is pretty dramatic. We have this light bouncing off here and you can see there's some shading going on, but let's see what's going on with this ball that I've left in the center that's still dynamic. Now, if I click on it and I come over to the one that's mixed, you can see we have some lighting going on on the top of this and there is a shadow underneath, but it's not getting the same, you know, colored bouncing off it. And if we come over here to the fully baked, well, nothing's happening at at all because, well, the light is fully baked. And this is where the magic of light probes comes in. Light probes will actually give us the ability to kind of have this dynamic lighting going on that's happening on this back wall. So let's learn how to implement it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to lighting or lights and then light probe group. And this is actually going to create a whole group for us to work with. And you know what, I'm going to zero this back out. All right, and I am going to drag this up. An important thing I want to note here is you never want your light probes going into anything. If you do that and we start to bake our maps or our light maps, it's gonna say, well, this light probe's dark, it's just gonna screw everything up. So just make sure our light probes aren't in any objects. And with that, let's play around with this. So what we want to do is we want to make sure every single light probe is placed where a significant change is happening with our lighting. So a good example would be right here, we have this light here, and then we have this dark surface. And so we'd want a light probe over here and a light probe over here. Another thing we'd want to do is we want to make sure when there would be changes of colors, we want to have light probes on each side. So a good example is here where it's split. We'd want a light probe on this side as well as on this side. So that way this ball, if it was in between them, would have both red and blue on it. So let's begin editing. And we can begin editing by clicking this little edit button right here. And the quickest way I found to fill out our light probes is by selecting a section of them. So control, and you can click all these and we can move them over here. And then I'm gonna do the same for these guys as well. All right, and with that done, now I'm gonna click this group. 
and I am just gonna do control D to duplicate and then I'm gonna drag out that duplicate. There we go. And I'm gonna hit control D again and stretch it all the way over here. And as you can see, we kind of have a nice little meshing going on here, but we need more detail. So I am going to speed through this and then talk about it. All right, and as you can see, things have gotten a little more complex. I might have overdone it a little bit, but as you can see here, what we really want to be looking for is these big changes in between different colored lights or the intensity in lights, and also the big changes between different bouncing lights. So the bouncing light from here would be reflecting this way, and the bouncing light from here would be reflecting this way. So we have some light probes on each side of these two different colored materials. So with that, let's bake our scene and see what we're working with. So I come over here, lighting and generate lighting again. And that went a little quicker. And here we are, if we zoom in, you can see that we're already getting that dynamic light. We got a little blue over here. We have a little red on the ball there on our dynamic wall. And if we move it through here, we can actually see what light probes are affecting it. And again, we have the mixed light here. So we have the shadow on the bottom. And over here we have the baked light. So no shadow is gonna show up, but it's still giving us that dynamic lighting with that little blue hue on it. And if we wanted to see the full effect without the light probe showing up everywhere, we could turn that off and we can move it around our scene. And yeah, that is a little more immersive. That's a little more dynamic and the cost isn't too high. If we look down here, our batches haven't shot up too much. And let me put on the VR headset and see what it looks like in VR. And yeah, I have to say it looks substantially better and my performance isn't really affected, although we are simulating dynamic lighting on our dynamic objects. So there it is. And you know, one thing I'll mention is, you know, the first time I booted this up, the light probes started to appear on my VR headset and I just kind of had to exit out of Unity and boot it back up. So let me know if you have any of those weird artifacts. But besides that, I hope you found this useful. Uh, liking and subscribing is a really great way to support me at this moment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.